Body shops or vehicle repairers, you need this tool. So in part one, I delved into the world of laser cutting and laser welding using the X-Tool 1200 watt metal fab unit. I tested out the weld functions and I tested out the cut functions and the results absolutely blew my mind. And then in part two, we delved deeper. We tested out the rust removal head and we tested out the laser welder versus conventional welding techniques. And again, the results blew my mind. We're here in part three. If you own a body shop or you do any type of restoration work, I promise you this tool may change your life. So what's going on everyone? Welcome to part three of the X-Tool Metal Fab review series. So in episode one, we've already seen that this thing welds and it welds amazing, it's super fast and it's super clean quality as well. So the welder function, very happy with it. We've already seen that it cuts, it cuts again, super fast, super clean and absolutely blew my mind at just how thick a material this small handheld unit can actually cut. But today we're targeting a different audience, body shops, this one is for you. Or not just body shops, vehicle repairers, vehicle restorers, anyone that's welding car body panels, I genuinely believe this tool is gonna to change your life. Now that is not my usual line of work. I'm an exhaust fabricator, I build exhaust systems every single day. And in the next episode in part four, we're gonna test this in my line of work. We're gonna actually build an exhaust system with this thing. But today, I've called up a favor from a few friends. You see behind me, I've got a couple of car wings, or if you're from the USA, car fenders. So I've got a couple of fenders, and today we are gonna test this thing out with the rust removal head. This thing is so savage, I've seen it remove rust like it's nothing like that. But in my head, I think that this will also remove more than rust. Car body shop repairers or any vehicle restorers will know if you're doing any type of paint work, the worst bit is DAing all the paint off or getting through any dirt or grime or anything on the body panel to get you back to fresh metal to see what you actually need to work with. I haven't tried this yet. I think this removal head, I think it will take that paint off in seconds. And that's exactly what we're gonna test today. We're gonna see, will this rust removal head take that car body panel back to bare metal in one pass or less? We'll see. Also the glue, there's all these glue from all the sticky bits. They are a body shop repairer's worst nightmare. Will the laser remove it? I'm skeptical about that, but we will find out. I have got two to try on. Now, we're not just gonna just go about paint removal. X-Tool also claim that this is a zero warp tool. What does that mean? Zero warp means we can weld on a panel like that with zero warpage. So if you've got a repair what you need to carry out, we know that a MIG welder will send the whole panel like at the top of the ocean. Not ideal for a body repairer. Same with the TIG welder. That again will send the body panel like the top of the ocean. Can we do a weld repair on a wing and will it be zero warp? Those are the two questions we're gonna find out in this episode. So let's get stuck in. So here's a piece of plate, what I just did a, a quick test run on in the previous episodes. That was us doing rust removal. As you can see, absolutely savage. Takes the rust straight off, straight back to clean bare metal, which is exactly what you want if you wanna weld some metal. So great on that. Now, let's get straight on job. We're not gonna waffle, we're gonna get straight on it. So we're gonna set the weld up for clean. I've already got it on clean. You've got seam welding, pulse welding. I'm on advanced mode at the moment, just cause I want 100% laser power for this. I want as much, I don't think it'll go through the panel, but we shall see. So we're on clean, 100% power. Scan width is set to 10 millimeters. Scan frequency is set to 100. Let's lay this red wing on the floor and see what happens. If this takes paint off, you can thank me later. So we're gonna enable lasering. Are we ready? In three, two, one. Holy <laughs> What was that? About a 10, five seconds. That was literally five second pass. And we are through the paint, through the primer, straight down to bare metal. Body shop owners, get to the website. The link is in the description. Just thank me later. You are gonna need one of these tools. This will save you so much time. If you were DAing that panel off, you would be doing that for ages, like probably an hour. If you were to DA this whole wing off, it'd take you an hour minimum. I reckon we could do this entire wing in what? Five minutes and that's been generous at that, isn't it? That was seconds. <laughs> Let's have another play. We're gonna try glue in a minute.
Now, what I will say is, <laughs> the stuff what comes off it is fairly toxic, so I probably wouldn't recommend breathing that in. But I know what you're thinking. Isn't that damaging the wing? Isn't all that heat gonna damage the wing? Look down that panel. There is absolutely zero distortion on that wing. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Now you can see some bits here, paint is a little bit thicker than what it is in other places. So yeah, you will need to multiple pass it in places, but seconds guys, seconds. Real test. Let's try it on that glue. Don't know what that glue is gonna do. Let's see. So it takes a little bit longer to go over the glue, but yet again, straight off. Absolutely no problem, straight off. Now, as always, lasers are very dangerous things. Make sure you do use your PPE, folks. The tool does come with some glasses. Make sure you use them. Laser beams can be very dangerous in the wrong hands, but I am beyond, beyond impressed with this machine. Every time I use it on something else, it just shocks me even more. It, I am beyond impressed. Pfft, what more can I test? What more can I test? Shall I just do the whole wing just for jokes? Probably speed this up, not gonna do it in real time. Probably just gonna do the whole wing just for laugh. And then we're gonna try the welder function on this panel because I'll have got some nice clean metal and we will actually test it. Zero warp challenge. Right, so there's you saw on the time lapse there. I haven't done the full wing of it. I've, I've done most of it, mainly because when I'm going over edges and stuff, it's actually burning my floor, which costs me a lot of money. So need to be really careful with that. What I will say is it's quite brutal. So probably not massively ideal doing it on a car because you've got all the bits that might set on fire, but I've literally just picked this up. I've just done the whole thing. Yeah, it's warm. It's literally warm at that. I can hold my hand on that panel comfortably. So it doesn't get it red, red, red hot. Even look on the backside. Backside looks like it did before we even started. There's absolutely zero like burn through. There is a bit there where I tried it, went over one little bit. That's the glue. That's where the glue were. We're all going over and over and over and over. We have got a bit of burn through on backside there, but the rest of the wing, you can't even tell I've been doing anything to it. Now, obviously the wing was damaged anyway, which is why it was in my friend's scrap bin at the body shop. So all this was all dinted in anyway, but the rest of the panel, absolutely zero warpage on that. From cleaning all that off, it has not affected that panel in any way whatsoever. You can see there's some remnants of the primer on there and that's going to come down to how furry you are going over and over and over it again but yeah what a tool folks if you own a body shop and you are working with metal and you need to clean paint off or clean uh, filler bondo whatever glue off this will save you some time i guarantee you so now we've cleaned that wing up this is a perfect opportunity to actually try and do some some welding on it we'll try the zero world the zero warp challenge on this wing can we weld to it without warping it Let's find out. So I'd call that painted wing at nil, X-Tool laser welder at one. Now before we actually weld anything to the wing, we do need some plate to weld to the wing. Now as this is a all-in-one tool, I do not need to use a grinder for this application. I simply switch out the laser remover head and put on the cutting tool. Set up some plate on my bench, and that's it. We now have a handheld laser cutter. We can cut off the plate we require, and then we'll get about welding. Once we finish cutting, it's the same procedure. We need to remove the cutting nozzle and reinstall the welding head with the wire feeder and we're ready to weld. Here comes the real test then. We've cut a piece of plate off. I've sort of formed it into the shape of the wheel arch. Let's weld it on. Let's see if it deforms the panel or not. Let's find out. And then I did the biggest fail of the century and forgot to press record on the camera while I welded that plate on. But nevertheless, here is the result I got. You can see there in the middle, I got that one crisp run. Again, down to practice, I got that absolutely super crisp. The end bit there, I did miss a bit and I did miss a bit there, so I went over them again. But that middle bit there, I can't get the camera to focus. It just will not get close up. It, it won't do it. There we go, it's about best we're gonna get. Now, did it warp the panel? Let's see. I mean, obviously there was some damage at the bottom of the wing down here, so that bit's already warped because it was dinted. But on there, absolutely zero warp none whatsoever and that's welded a curved piece round the arch even on the backside 
you can see there, look, it just poked through the back side of the metalwork. No warpage at all. Completely zero warp challenge. Passed. But we're not going to leave it there. Let's push this to the limits. So that was just a little weld. Let's go above and beyond. Let's try and warp this panel. Let's try and warp. It's hard to find a good bit on this panel because it were a damaged wing. This bit down here is all toast. But up here, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice up there where I've welded. You can't see any, any damage in that really. So let's, let's push it to the limits. Let's go a step further. So that's three welds back to back on this panel. Now if that were MIG welder or that were TIG welder, this panel would be like a banana now, there's no doubt about it. Let's have a close look. Three welds all in quick succession like that. Should have really, really heated this panel. Let's have a look. As you can see, absolutely nothing really difficult to get my camera to focus it's too much shininess going off but literally nothing no warp on that panel so you've got a bit of burn from the back as well that's impressive folks that is really impressive I mean, to be honest, if, if that panel had warped at that, I've just ran four welds consecutive, that three and that one, and the panel is as straight as an arrow. <laughs> Will it work on an exhaust though? I guess that is what we're gonna find out right now. Part four is right here. Click this button right here. That's gonna take you to part four. And in that episode with this machine, we are gonna build an exhaust system and we're gonna weld it using only the X-Tool laser welder. I'll see you there.